Okay, so I'm pretty low HP. I'm really, really hopeful that we can make this. Come on, guys. We can do this. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my main series on Old School. Starting the video off with fishing. You know what it is. Now that we're finally a member, I'm probably going to grind out some more quests so that I can skip some early level training. My main goal right now is to get Barrow's Gloves. Obviously, can't be a main without Barrow's Gloves unless you want to get roasted everywhere you go. I would also like to get my agility up so I can run more without using stamina potions. Maybe we'll go for full graceful as soon as possible. The reason why I don't want to make money yet is because low level money making is pretty, pretty bad. Grinding out a bunch of quests would be very beneficial since I can skip the lower levels and start doing better methods for making money. Alright, so we're going to do a bunch of quests, so I'll update you guys in a bit. God, I am so grateful to be able to use stamina potions when doing these quests. It makes everything so much more bearable. I don't mind doing quests, but the run energy in this game is just, just god awful. Alright, first quest out of the way. Here is Dwarf Cannon completed. Got level 12 crafting, and now we can use a cannon, which will significantly speed up our range training. Anyway, on to the next quest. Starting the Monk's Friends quest here at the Artie Monastery. I remember this quest being really quick, and there's a pretty cool award at the end. Got the child's blanket. Now let's go back to brother... Uh, what's the name again? This is the amazing award I was talking about earlier. There are no other quests that has something like this that I know of. I think they should have done this after quest, like one small favor or something. Not a quest like this where it's like so easy. Not really sure what I'm celebrating. There you go. Monk's friend completed. We now have level 31 woodcutting, and I'm gonna go do waterfall quest next for that sweet, sweet attack and strength XP. I know from level 1 it gets you to level 30, which is really good, but we already trained our melee stats in free to play, so I wonder what we'll end up with. I'll see you guys when I'm done. So, my inventory is full of random items, and I can't figure out which item to drop to get in this tomb. Okay, we figured it out. Uh, I think it was the logs that were keeping me out. Anyway, hopefully we don't die here. Let's go get a few amulets just in case we want to go to the waterfall caves again. Got the urn, and now we're out of here. Let's go finish up the last part of this quest. Okay, so I'm pretty low HP. I'm really, really hopeful that we can make this. Come on, guys. We can do this. Let's go. Okay, I just got one-shotted. Uh, as you can see, I'm not really good at this game. But that's okay, because according to people like Bob Ross, we don't make mistakes. Only happy little accidents. Alright, we're back, guys. I brought food this time to make sure I don't die. We're at this part again. I need to do this part really carefully because I always mess it up. Remember to only use one ruin each per pillar. Also, you have to use the urn on the chalice. And there we go. That is waterfall quest completed. 40 strength and 33 attack. Nice. Still need to grind some more quests, so let's go do that. Next up is Tree Gnome Village. This will help tremendously when we need to use tree spirits to teleport around the map. Alright, putting in the coordinates in the ballista. There's the first orb. Let's return to the king. To get the remaining orbs, we have to kill the Khazar Warlord here. And if I remember correctly, you can kind of safe spot him. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay, cool. You just got to stand behind this little uh, marking on the ground. There is Khazar Warlord dead, so let's get those two balls from you and let's return to the king. That is Tree Gnome Village completed. We now have 38 attack and most importantly, we can use the tree spirits to teleport. 
Next up is to do fight arena since it's really close and we pretty much have everything needed to do the quest. Alright, let's see if I remember how to safe spot this. Oh, there we go, easy peasy. So I just realized you can use the skeleton on the ground which makes it a lot easier. Wait, I think I can use my wizard robes too without getting kicked out. Okay, cool, you can. Probably should have done that earlier, but whatever. Okay, here's the final boss, General Kazard. Let's finish this up and get our quest rewards. There it is, boys. There is Fight Arena completed. Got two quest points, a bunch of attack XP, and some thieving XP. Now we have 41 attack and 14 thieving. We can wear our ruined weapons, which is a really, really good upgrade. There are still a few more quests that I want to get over with, so I'll see y'all in a bit. God, I actually hate this quest so much. It, it, it was so bad for me back when I did it. Let's hope it's not as bad this time. This sheep is stuck. I've been waiting for it to move for like 5 minutes. Come on, let's go. Come on. There you go, that is the first sheep. And the second sheep. Third sheep. And finally, here's the last sheep. The first sheep that I try to prod into the cage is, uh, <laughs> is still here, so... Well, luckily for me, it wasn't that bad, except for the first one. So now let's just feed them some poison. There we go. A quest that can be really annoying, but that is an easy four quest points and sheep herder completed. Time to go do Hazil Colt. There is Hazil Colt completed, got 5 coins. Just kidding, you have to open and search this cupboard to finish the quest. There we go. Hazil Colt completed, level 18 thieving and 55 quest points. Alright, doing Plague City now, the beginning of a very long series of quests. Just released Elena, so just gotta go back to Edmund to complete the quest. There is Plague City completed. Can't wait to do the rest of the series, but for now, we have 18 mining and most importantly, the ability to teleport to Artie. So, right now I'm doing Biohazard and I just wanted to say, imagine being such a bad guard that you get distracted by birds. Like, uh, are you, are you gonna do your job? Nice, we just hit level 39 magic from killing this mourner. That unlocks Crumble Undead. Imagine finding out the plague was a hoax this entire time. That must really suck. But anyway, that is Biohazard completed. 3 quest points and... Level 20 thieving, which means we can now thieve from silk stalls. Decided to take a break from questing and train some agility. Something that definitely needs to be done even though it is so boring. Well, it's it's not boring, it's just very click intensive, I guess, and I can't really multitask while training the skill. So we're just going to be here until level 10, which shouldn't take too long. There it is, our first of many agility levels. I don't really mind the early levels because it goes by so quickly anyway and we unlock a bunch of shortcuts which is really nice anyway I'll be back when we're done I'll see y'all in a bit there is level 5 agility halfway there nice level 10 agility that means we can now go to drain our agility course it took less than 10 minutes so it was pretty chill gonna finish up the rest of this lap and then use my glory teleport to drain and train there until level 20 we have our first mark of grace, just 259 more for full graceful, we got this. There is 15 agility, halfway to 20. There we go, done with the drain or agility course. It took about 25 minutes I would say, from 10 to 20 so it wasn't too bad and we just got 5 marks of grace. We aren't done here so I'll see y'all at the al Karid agility course. There is 25 agility. One thing I hate about agility is that it's kind of click intensive. I can't really multitask, so well, I guess that's actually the reason why everyone hates agility. The good thing that has changed is that 
rune light shows where you need to click which is really really helpful at least for me it is i don't know about you guys but sometimes i misclick and i just i just can't figure out where to click if i had 55 magic i'd probably be alking too but oh well finally hit 30 agility which means we have unlocked the varrock course but we probably won't be heading there because we also unlocked the ability to fish leaping salmon so we're gonna go barbarian fish sometime in the future we also have 16 marks of grace now and it took just a little bit over an hour to go from 20 to 30 there is 55 fishing 31 agility we can now jump over the stones by champions guild not really sure how useful that is though 56 fishing we now unlock common tench i have no idea what that is <laughs> anyway two more levels until we unlock leaping salmon 32 agility 41 strength 57 fishing just one more fishing level to go 33 agility that unlocks us the log balance at arty cool i think that one's actually pretty useful and there it is guys 58 fishing that means we can now fish leaping salmon probably been here for about two hours gonna try to make some money now since we're kind of running low while we're here let's do the abyss mini quest here's the first teleport Second teleport. And the last teleport. And there's Enter the Abyss mini quest completed. Level 9 ruin crafting, which means we can now make Earth Ruins. Alright, we're here doing the history quiz for the free Hunter and Slayer XP. Shouldn't take too long, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Also, if you guys didn't know, Rune Light actually show you, shows you the correct answer when you're doing this. As you can see, the answer is uh, in a different color compared to the other answers, so you can just go through all of them really, really quickly. There is the History Museum quiz, whatever, completed, and we now have 9 Slayer and 9 Hunter. There's Gertrude's Cat completed as well. Is lagging, hello? There we go. We can now raise cats as well as level 13 cooking. Nice. Here we are in Taverly to do Witch's House. I brought two cheeses just in case I messed up. Hopefully not, but I usually always mess up bringing the ball back because I'm really impatient. Also, if you guys didn't know, you can save spot the first two forms here by going into this corner, then walking here, and then walk here and you're good for the last two forms all you have to do is stand here in this corner and they shouldn't be able to get to you hopefully we don't mess up leaving the house here god damn it i knew i should have just waited see this is this is why i bring two cheeses and there's witch's house completed and we have four quest points and level 32 hp Next up is Druidic Ritual, so I'll be back when that is done. There is Druidic Ritual completed, really quick and easy. Another four quest points, and more importantly, we have unlocked the Herblore skill. So we're in the middle of doing the Grand Tree, and I find it really funny that we can just look through his cupboard and just take his journal while he's standing literally right next to us. But we don't get arrested until we talk to him. Here we go again, just gonna look through your very personal chest for your plans to take over Galenor. No big deal. Oh what? I didn't know you can have two people spawn the black demon at the same time. I expected it to be its own instance, but I guess not. That's kind of funny. What's up dude? Well thankfully there's two different safe spots here, so we can just kind of mind our own business. Okay, this is definitely the most annoying part of the quest, if you're not lucky. We have to search all the roots in this room until we find this stone. It could be your first root, or it could be the last root that you search for. 
There we go. We found the stone. This was literally the last route that we had to search, so we were really, really unlucky. Anyway, let's go finish the quest. That is the Grand Tree completed. We have 5 quest points, 37 agility, 44 attack, and 40 magic. Beautiful. Alright guys, we now have 73 quest points. Really big jump from when we first started. Slowly going to finish all these quests and get them out of the way. We're here at the Grain Exchange right now because I wanted to train some magic. The problem is we're kind of broke so I'm trying to find a way to train magic while making some money. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you everyone for watching. If you guys like the series make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as that will help me out a bunch. And I would really appreciate it. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one.